Fast Food Pantry Day. All right, we got a little real estate right here. This shelf's pretty much clear. We've got plenty of room down there. On the door, we've got a little bit of room right here. So let's go to the food pantry and see what we can find today to fill up the mini fridge. everybody my name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's food pantry haul so let's take a look at the meats and please stay tuned for the score of the week under this little yellow tail this looks really good we got some beef burgers cracked black pepper you know I like that now for a look at the perishable items we got some really good fruits and vegetables First up, we got this oven roasted salmon. That looks great. We got pulled pork tomato barbecue, roasted red pepper hummus, some red onions already diced. This looks a little dented, but I'm sure it's fine. It's the Siggies. Really excited about this big container of mixed berries. That looks great. We got a ready to eat salad watermelon it's almost 100 degrees here so i'm really excited to have all this fruit we got half and half pineapple a low fat yogurt then we got a baby kale and spinach salad a ready to eat salad it's a southwest chicken salad so super excited about all of these fruits and vegetables so what i do here is i always put the dates the Best Buy dates on the cans. I write it on the front right here, somewhere I can easily see it. That way I can rotate the food. Now for a look at the non-perishable items. We've got all these little milks. They're so cute, we've got four of those. We got another box of Raisin Bran. Two waters, black beans, peaches, tomato paste. This was great. We got two cans of salmon, and then we've got the two cans of the green beans. We've got applesauce, some go squeeze, kidney beans, mashed potatoes, Annie's yummy bunnies and cheddar mac and cheese. I'm really happy with all of these items. A really good variety. These are some really good kitchen and bathroom supplies and of course laundry room. We've got the two rolls of Amazon toilet paper and I would recommend this if you make purchases on Amazon. This has been a really good toilet paper. Then we got this children's toothpaste, Tom's of Maine. And I've never seen Schmidt's soap before. I don't even think I've seen this in the grocery store. So this is kind of exciting to try. It says natural soap with exfoliating. Is that jojoba seed or is that jojoba? I don't know, somebody tell me, how do you say that? <laughs> then we've got one of these laundry detergents. I've been really lucky to pick these up at the food pantry. They seem to have a good stockpile of this, this laundry soap and it does 32 loads. So that's really great. I'm so excited to have all of these wonderful items. All right, now for a look at the countertop perishable items. We've got these organic tomatoes. A few of them have started to turn bad. So I think out of the bag, there's only two or three that are still good. And then we've got these cookies. This is my favorite, oatmeal cranberry. Each cookie has 15 carbohydrates. And the organic rosemary sourdough, it has 14 carbohydrates per slice. 
It says the serving size is one inch to one and one quarter. So I got my measuring tape and measured this out. The score of the week. Ta-da! We got some beef short ribs, thin cut boneless. That looks really good. Look at the marbling in that meat. That's a pretty cut of meat right there. Now I've got to get all of this in the mini fridge. Let's see how I do this week. All right, this is my food pantry day lunch. Got a little salad dressing right there. Still working around that ant problem, so I'm on this side of the counter today. And what I've got here is the Southwest chicken salad. I'm just putting it in, you know, my favorite vintage West Bend bowl. Oh no, I made a mess. I dropped it on the floor. I'll have to clean that up. Messy, Sarah. Okay, so this is what I do to make room in the mini fridge because it's not going to fit. Now I've got this other salad. Now you might be thinking, God, this girl eats a lot of salad. And you're right, I am trying to get my minerals and supplements and all that good stuff that comes with salads. I'm trying to eat as many as I can. And I know not everybody has access to a food pantry that has produce. And so I really appreciate all this produce and just trying to use it up the best that I can. And I'm very grateful for this because the more people I talk to that also utilize food pantries and they don't have a, a very well stocked food pantry, it makes me appreciate my food pantry even more because I know that I'm in a unique situation. All right, a little salad dressing. And I'll save this salad dressing for later. Okay, I'm just gonna cover this up with a, the salad container while I walk away. Question is, did it all fit? Let's take a look. Wow, look at this jam-packed mini fridge. I got fruit, I've got salad, I've got half and half. I'm still working on the eggs from last week. I've got a lot of good stuff in here. I put the watermelon container in a plastic bag since I've got it on its side. In case it leaks, it'll leak into the bag and not into the fridge. But it's looking really good. I'm super happy with this. The milk and the apple sauces came in these Ziploc bags. I'm gonna hold on to these. I went to the thrift store. This was $2, 75% off. I got this for 50 cents. It's supposed to have two pairs of underwear. Sometimes I'll get something like this that looks new. And when I open it, it'll just have one instead of two. So let's find out. Yeah, the bottom was already open, so I'm not sure if it's going to have one or two pairs. Oh, pleasantly surprised. Look at that. Two pairs. That's nice. So basically, God, I hope these stretch. These look really small. I got each pair for, for basically a quarter. I wonder if these are for little kids. <laughs> they don't look like no little kids, so this has got to be for grown women. I hope. I just turned this over. It says, this panty will fit you. Yes, it is small, but trust us, it will stretch to fit you. Well, thank God. 360 degree stretch, okay. Get this bread buttered. Gotta chop up this little tomato. And it's lunchtime. Ooh, that looks good to me. I got a tomato with salt and pepper. I got some toasted bread with butter. 
the barbecue with that diced onion. All of this came courtesy of the food pantry. The only thing I provided was the butter. It's bra wash day. This is the soap I use. Looking for one of those old enamel uh, wash basins. I'm going to the thrift store pretty often looking for it. Haven't found it yet, but I know somebody's gonna clean out their grandma's house and I'm gonna find that treasure one day. Add some more water. I wiped this down better. I don't know if you can see it because of that bright light, but I, I see a food particle piece of barbecue up in here. So this is what we gonna do. Vacuum that out. I guess it would help if I plugged it in. Try this again. I set the kitchen timer to 15 minutes for my bra to soak and finish washing. These will be dry by tomorrow morning. The light's starting to come along real nice. I've got this really pretty aloe plant. I bought this from Food Lion. It's doing really well. It's starting to really get larger and I see some new growth right here in the middle. Rotate this plant so I can try to make it grow out evenly. update on the ant situation. It's gotten a lot better. I'm still seeing a few ants here and there, but I'm keeping my dishes um, cleaned and put away. That's helping. I'm cleaning out the sink with the vinegar spray. Everyone that gave me these wonderful suggestions for borax, the vinegar, the taro, uh, the Raid Ant Spray, the Instant Grits, Peppermint Oil, and even putting tape over the entry point where the ants are coming in. I really appreciate all of your suggestions. Thank you. And here's breakfast. Look at that little deer.